Welcome back to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Today we're going to be talking about Dune. I got to see it over the weekend. And, uh... Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh... I'm not going to say it's a perfect adaptation of the novel. But... Damn! <laughs> Uh, I was there for the 84 version of Dune. I was there for the Sci-Fi Channel version of Dune. And this is the best version of Dune that we've seen to date. Uh, even though it's only half the story. Fortunately, uh, there's enough people who uh, paid to see the movie. Or maybe saw it on HBO Max. I don't know. That they greenlit the sequel. Because... Really, folks, you need to see this movie. Uh, this is what theaters were made for. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the last... Aliens, maybe. I mean, you. this is a movie you need to see in the theater. This is Star Wars. This is Aliens. This is Lord of the Rings. You have to see this movie in the theater. Uh, I'm going to... A light spoil it. Uh, the book's been out for like, you know, 50 years. So, <laughs> uh, maybe longer than that. I don't know. But uh, really, you, if, if you haven't seen this movie yet, you need to see this movie. Uh, go to the theater, see it there, and then go see it a couple of times on HBO Max. Buy the, buy the uh, Blu-ray when it comes out. I cannot... Okay, let's get into the review. <laughs> I'm gushing too much. Uh, movie starts out with a voiceover by Chani, uh, which, it's, which is okay because we don't really see her until the end of the movie, so it gives her something to do. Except for some uh, dream sequences that Paul keeps having about her. She really is not given a lot to do in this movie. So... Uh, no, that's good. That's cool. Uh, I th I, th I think uh, she's given Erlan's part. That's Erlan is the uh, Imperial Princess. And there are. I can't. I don't know if I can review this without spoiling it. Uh, you know, we have some great characters. I don't know all the actors' names. Uh, I enjoyed Thufir. I I really liked. Uh, Gurney Halleck. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, he's a favorite, famous actor. Uh, of course, J uh, Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho. The actress who played uh, Liet Kynes. I know there's a big uh, furor about her being uh, gender bent. Liet uh, is in the novel. He's a... Uh, it's, a it's, it's a male. But... Uh, in this movie, it works. Liette was not, wasn't really a big character in the novel, so if they gender bent it and did some other things, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I've never really been a problem, you know, uh, race or uh, gender swap, because he, uh, in the novel, he's not really de uh, described. I don't think uh, they, they give a race for him in the novel. Except for, uh, uh, you know, he's, he has the blue eyes of the Fremen. The effects are beautiful. Uh, of course, you know, what movie doesn't have great effects these days? Except for, you know, the Eternals. <laughs> no, actually, from what I've seen of the Eternals, uh, it looks interesting. I'm, I'm going, I mean, I'm never, I'm not a big Kirby, f I'm not a big Eternals fan. I do love, uh. Jack Kirby, but uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna gauge the movie on its own merits, not of what uh, what's going on right now, which I'm trying to do with Dune. Uh, Dune is two and a half hours. There are some slow parts, but the whole movie itself doesn't feel two and a half hours. You blink and it's over, and it's over right when the story gets good. It's only half the book. And I'm not saying it's, it's, there's not enough, there's a lot of excitement in this movie. 
uh, Cal uh, Caledon is beautiful. Uh, I don't know where they shot it, but the the scenery for Caledon is absolutely beautiful. Arrakis is uh, once again it's beautiful. They show a bit of Giddy Prime. They show a bit of uh, Seleucus Secondus, but uh, <coughs> they're they're really. No, uh, nothing. There's a couple of characters in this movie. Uh, most everybody is great. There's a couple of characters that uh, get short shrift. Uh, Dr. Yue is one of them. Unfortunately, uh, he needs he needed to be set up better than he was in the uh, movie. He He's in there for a couple of sequences and then it's over. Uh, we really needed to see more of Yui's uh, character before he passes on. Or, like I said, it's spoilers. Uh, Jessica, while she's in the movie, she's not the Jessica of the book. She's very weak. Uh, as a Bene Gesserit sister, you, I thought while she was... Uh, she wasn't emotionless, but she had a handle on her emotions much more in the book than she does here. And uh, I think there was a mistake to make her so as weak as they did. I, I hope that in part two, she's uh, a lot better. Or they they find the Jessica of the book. Uh, Chani, like I said, is hardly in there. Stilgar is hardly in there. Uh... The uh, Imperial Assassin, I can't remember his name. Fenric? Fenric? Uh, isn't in here. Him and his wife isn't in there at all. Uh, the Imperial family is not in here. Uh, Phaedra Ruatha is not in here. Stellan uh, Skarsgård is great as uh, the Baron. Probably one of the most inspired castings is... Uh, Beast Raban. Yeah, played by uh, I can't remember his name, but he played Drax in uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Really, uh, I can't recommend this movie enough. The, I, I had a problem with the score. Uh, that seems to be uh, overall a, a lot of there seems to be a lot of complaining about the score and I I, I didn't care for it that much I wish uh, I like Hans Zimmer's work I, don't get me wrong I do like his stuff I just wish uh, maybe somebody with a more fantastical uh, the composer for uh, Rogue One uh, he, he was really good I, I would have liked to Seem like he could have done with it. Um, that's, the only, that's the only first time. John Williams. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think... I think he's retired. I would have liked to... Oh, man, John Williams score for Dune? Yeah, I can't imagine that. The Thopters. Those were way cool. Those were uh, pretty close to what I imagined in the book, or from the book. I've lived with Dune since uh, 78, I've read, and I read it once a year, whether I need to or not. Uh, all the way up to uh, to God Emperor, uh, Heretics in Chapter House I don't care for. But uh, the first four books I absolutely love. I, I, I hope that... Uh, we get to see children. I know, I know the plan is to do all the way up to uh, Dune Messiah, but I hope to see. I hope that we get to see children of Dune at least, and maybe God Emperor. I would love to see God Emperor on the screen. I don't know how they do it though. Uh, I just don't know what to say. I, I, I'm trying to review this. I'm trying to be objective, but we we blew that out of the window thirty seconds into it. Go see Dune, and when you're done, go see Dune again. That's all I have. 
I'm Bill. I am the man in the middle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? Every couple of days you'll get to see my bright, beautiful face. And uh, I might uh, just, you know, cover something you're interested in. Uh, coming up after this is Prodigy, Star Trek Prodigy. You guys take care. Talk to you soon.